set 3269. This is the Red Dragon Fortress built on a rock. The of the bottom of the castle is a rock and that's really awesome. Four characters, intricate tower that Playmobil has possibly ever made. This set sells for around $270 completed. If you used all the characters from all the Red Dragon sets all together, cannon over there, you have some of the characters standing in this sides here. That guy in there, and then back here you even have the unicorn and the special knight as well. There's all of these areas. So you have two torches in here. These are the old style kind of torch. You just put it in there like so. This door has a lock feature. If you push this lever like this, it locks. Push like that, it opens. It's pretty much a cavern and there's not much going on in there. This the inside of that, not much easy to see. Here on the top, there are two little windows that you can definitely open. And you can put characters in there. If you work your way around, you can fit a guy in there. It's a very small little space. And you can close it and leave just one open, like he's tossing things at the enemies or something. Someone trying to invade the castle against the will of the king. If you push a lever up here, and it closes the gate in a very fast manner. It decapitates the character. All you have to do is push it back up and it locks in place and you're ready to do it again. Over here you have a little door. Anyone invading would have to break that lock. You can open that door. You have access to the king's room. There are windows here on the sides as well. But you can totally play that you can break it through by just removing it. You have another locked door and the ladder, you say this character climbs up here, he unlocks that door where you can have a feast, dining table, a chest full of treasure, the throne for the king, the actual throne. I don't think this set has a king or I, I haven't seen any kings being sold in any other set. So the only option you might have is just to call this guy a baron and say he's like the king. So he stays there by his throne, he's the one that runs this castle, he's the one that conquered it. First floor you have this area here that you can enter. There's no traps or anything in there. And there are no ladders up there, the ladder is on this side here. You can enter through this door and go up the ladder. If you do so, there is a trap door right here that you open and you can access this level of the castle. This level, you have the button that pushes down the gate. You also have, if you push this trap door down, you have this whole area, the watch area in the top. You have then on this side, another ladder that takes you to the third floor of the castle, third and last floor, which is the highest tower here. On the back of the castle, where you have the ladder and all of that, this is the back of the castle, you see that? Down here, there's a red door that's just like the front door, but it doesn't have the dragon on it, and it's red. And it has the same system of locks. It doesn't open, push that way, then it does open. This is the entrance, first gate. Then you go through the first gate, and this is the second gate. Over here, you have a window on the second floor. This window, actually, you have full access. You, you can have full access of that window. Just be where it's under the stairway. You're shooting arrows or something at enemies downstairs. Weapon holders that you can just put weapons and shields, anything you want to put in there to easy assess them. There's two more over here. These are supposed to be shield ones. It's what it shows on the box art. And that's pretty much it. That they can stand on the rocks pretty well and stay there pretty good. Like I said, you can have a prisoner in there in the cell and he can just stay there with shackles. I put the unicorn warrior because you never know what he's up to or what faction he fights for. The dragon in there and he can just be peeking to that sail and just hoping to be free soon so he can fly around the skies. So it comes with an extra tree that has a crow on it and you can put it anywhere you want. You can replace with this tree or just put it on the back here. 
or maybe you can have it inside a castle it's really up to you where you want to put that tree these shackles can go on the leg or on the neck just not on characters that have chainmail on their necks then you won't fit of course these are all the accessories from the castle we have a throne a table for a feast with some items cups a fish that's been eaten a little plate three mice come with the set two seats one is a small seat one is a big seat a little bucket can be used as a toilet or water there is a dog a treasure inside and these are all the accessories removed from the characters this is how their backs looks like these two guys have those pins for an item on the back you have the horse stripped off all of its items two red shields two of this shield there is a sword like this two of these the other one is right here there is one axe one sword like this the vintage kind longbow a quiver a semi-eaten fish the fish can be held in the hands of a playmobile you get two little knives and one little uh, knife holder this guy here has two shoulder plates a helmet there is a helmet with a red horn sided axe you have three mice two beer cups one plate that can be held place paint to arrest the prisoner there's another one of those hats so you have two of those crow a bucket and a dog that's pretty much it and here we have all the boxes these are the box arts and the large castle box right there there are cool artworks this is the large one ideas for play you see the functions of the castle and some of the characters I have the back where it shows all the items you get with this set the back of these other boxes 3319 3327 and 3320 all the characters put in the same space these are the two odd guys the unicorn warrior here you have all of them with the dragon and the cannon and here is a well organized platoon with the dragon in the middle both riders in the front leading and these guys just following them from behind we have the bowman on each side to cover the flanks 